Are you stuck wondering what tools you need to get started creating beats? You know this is something you want to do. You hear beats in your head all of the time. I know, I know how it feels. But you're just getting your feet wet and you don't know quite where to start. Let me share a few essential items you need to get started producing dope music. And may I add, you don't need a lot of money to get started. Just the right equipment and a passion for music production. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Platinum Lyrics and Beasts. I'm your host, Trey Boy. I teach aspiring music producers how to create and sell hip hop and R&B beats online without the confusion and frustration of wondering where to start. That's right. On Platinum Lyrics and Beats, we look to assist you in getting started in your music production career and help you make some life-changing music and money. All right? So you made up your mind about making beats. All right? You're there. You're already there. You know this is something you want to do. And you need to know what equipment you need to get started. All right? This is Trey Boy. I got you. You know how we get down every week. We bring something valuable to you. And FYI, all of the studio equipment I mentioned on this video, I have a direct link in the descriptions below where you can check everything out for yourself. Okay? So the first thing you would need is a computer, desktop, or a laptop. All right? Computer, desktop. That's what I'm talking about. So a computer, desktop, you know what that is. That's where you have the actual computer to sit on the desk. And you may have a, a separate CPU. Uh, you can use that or you can use... A laptop okay everybody know what that is and most of us have computers um, most people already have one so I won't go deep into which one you should get I use a MacBook Pro I've been using that since I started I also have a Mac desktop uh, that I use as well but you can use whichever one you want you don't need both okay you don't need both just choose one if you want both you know <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that you can start off with one a laptop and then go from there just make sure the operating system can handle your DAW, which brings us to number two. You need a DAW, all right? DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. The DAW is a software that converts an analog signal to a digital signal. It allows you to play sounds and samples on the hardware and transfer it into your computer so you can see it on the screen digitally, all right? On your computer screen, you'll be able to see everything. Think of a DAW as a digital representation of a physical recording. All right, think of it that way. Having a DAW allows you to edit, playback, and record live. All right, there are plenty of DAWs out there you can use, but I've been using Pro Tools since I started. Uh, some people use Logic Pro. You have to find out, go online and find out which one you want, but the link to Pro Tools will be down below. That's what I use. That's what I started with. It's like the easiest to learn. And most of the, the professionals use it, you know, today. Pro Tools is the industry standard DAW. Okay, everybody is going to run into Pro Tools. No matter what you use, you're going to run into Pro Tools sooner or later. All right. It's, it's probably the DAW most widely used in professional studios because of its great capabilities, sounds, and its easy easiness to use. Okay. Then we have the audio interface. I call this the heart of the studio. The audio interface converts the microphone signal or instrument signal into a format your computer and software recognizes. Okay, so we just talked about Pro Tools. The audio interface is gonna communicate with Pro Tools, the software. Okay, the audio interface is a device between your MIDI controller, which we'll talk about next, and your DAW and the software of your computer. The interface also routes audio from your computer out to your headphones and your monitors. Okay, you'll see how all of that works on a picture here. Okay. Okay, the audio interface I recommend for beginners is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. It has all the inputs and outputs you need to start creating dope beats. Okay, it's a powerful piece of equipment. Next, we have my favorite. The MIDI controller, all right? The MIDI controller is the hardware that triggers the sound that goes through the audio interface to the computer. 
Now, I use the Akai MPK Mini Keyboard MIDI Controller. All right? This is it right here. All right? I also have the older version that I use as well. This is a bad boy right here. All right? I use both of them. Someone may say, well, why do you have two? Because this one here, the MIDI, MIDI keyboard controller, you can carry if you're going to your partner house, if you're going to the studio. It's just real portable, man. It's small, compact. You can use that one as well. I would suggest, you know, using that one. Okay? So that's how much I believe in this product. I've been using this for years. All right? Forever. I love the Akai. I love the Akai products anyway, man. I have the Akai MPC uh, Renaissance. That's that's my baby back there, man. That's also a MIDI controller. But really, I, I would suggest uh, a beginner maybe using a keyboard with the pads on there because it won't be as expensive. Okay, it won't be as expensive to start off with that. When you start moving up to the NPCs, things can get a little ex expensive. So you want to start off with the Kai Mini 25 Key MIDI controller. Okay, that's the one you want to start off with. All right, you load your samples to your DAW, and the MIDI controller will do the rest. It's going to communicate with your DAW through the audio interface. All right, check this out. If any of this is adding value, hit the subscribe button. Let me know. All right, support your boy. We're dropping valuable videos every week, all right? The next thing that we would need in our studio to get started is studio monitors, all right? Now, you could purchase any kind of speakers, but for the sake of true sound, all right, you want professional studio monitors. This will enable you to mix at optimal levels, meaning when you bounce your music down and listen to, your, listen to it in your car, it will sound close to what it sound like in the studio. Okay, that's what that means. You don't want to use a bass heavy type of uh, speaker because when you mix everything down, the bass is going to be off when you get in your car. And the treble could be, be off. The mids could be off because you it's not an accurate sound in the studio. So get some studio monitors. The one that I would suggest you get is the Elysis. All right, the Elysis Studio Monitor. The link is below in the description uh, for the newer version. I have the older version. I still jamming. They they play just as good as they played years ago. I still have those today. Some people buy new equipment, you know, all the time, and just because it's new, I'm not that type of producer. If it works then it works for me, especially when I'm used to the sound and I like the way it operates. I like the performance of it, all right? If it's not broke, don't fix it, all right? Now, I don't share any brand with you that I don't trust. Now, the Alexis monitors sound and perform great in the studio setting, all right? They sound great. And the last thing I mentioned here as a bonus is studio headphones. This is not a must, but if you don't want to invest in studio monitors, I would suggest the Sony MDR7506 professional headphones. All right. Now, some people may be in, in, in their home and they're producing their music and you probably can't have your music up that loud. Your parents may be mad, your wife, your husband or whatever may be upset because you're playing the music loud. These headphones will help you when you're creating or if you're mixing down or you're just listening to your music. All right. You can use a set of headphones. Again, I use the Sony MDR7506 headphones. All right. Specifically for producing music. That's important. This is important. All right. And hey. If you want both the monitors and headphones, that's cool, too. Do what you do, man. You got it like that. Do what you do. Do what you do. Okay, I have all the links down below in the descriptions. These tools will get you started in producing dope beats in no time. All right? Good equipment I've been using for years. I know it works. Some of it I've been using since I first started producing music. All right? And since you stayed to the end, look, I have a bonus gift for you. If you are an aspiring music producer and you want to get started making beats, you want to learn how to create beats from scratch, 
You want to make some money selling your beats online? Look, I got you. Watch the Producers Blueprint free video I created for aspiring music producers just like you. All right? The Producers Blueprint walks you through each step. I'll show you equipment you need. I'll show you how to create the beat. And I'll show you how to sell your beats once you start creating beats. All right? Just go to AspireProducersLab.com or if you're on IG, message me directly. DM me the word produce and I'll email you the producer's blueprint directly to you, okay? Once you, D uh, once you DM me and type the word produce. We look forward to working with you and hearing from you. Thank you for listening and supporting the channel. Subscribe so you can watch more helpful videos like this every week. To all the dope music producers out there, keep producing that life-changing music. All aspiring music producers, go out there and put in that work so you can join us in changing the world one beat at a time. I pray this episode would help you to get started in your music production career and help you make some life-changing music and money. Have an amazing day. Let's get that work. See you next week. This is Trey Boy. I'm out. Peace.